Welcome back facts. Today, let us go to discuss about the factors affecting fruitfulness and we shall start with the external factors. Our first factor is light intensity. So, what we are saying about light intensity is that in low light intensity, the rate of fruitfulness is small and the rate of fruitfulness increases linearly with increase in light intensity. Increase in light intensity result in proportional increase in light for thinness until light saturation point is reached. So light saturation point is the point where even if we increase the intensity of light but the rate of thinness cannot increase. Beyond this point further increase in light intensity have no effect on the rate of thinness because other factors such as carbon dioxide concentration or temperature become limiting. If however more carbon dioxide is made available to the plant Further increase in light intensity do increase the rate of fruitfulness until the light saturation is again reached. All this time at higher light intensity. So sometimes light saturation point can be reached. But if you increase or you alter other factors, the light saturation point increases again. So at this point, the carbon dioxide concentration or possibly some new factor such as temperature is limiting the process. Now gradually the rate of increase falls off as other factor becoming limited except for shaded plants light is not normally a major limiting factor very high light intensity may bleach the chlorophyll and slow down for thinness but plants normally exposed normally exposed to such condition are usually protected by devices such as thick cuticle and hairy leaves so when light intensity falling on the leaves increases beyond a point, chlorophyll is destroyed. It occurs in the presence of oxygen and is called photooxidative damage or photooxidation. Carotenoids divert excess of light away from chlorophyll and thus play an important role in protecting the chlorophyll from photooxidation. Co easy pigment amazonate or carotenoid is in a chua excess light is in a departure and is in a pereka inje your chlorophyll causing a zero photooxidative damage. The carotenoids also act as antioxidant and help detoxify the bad effect of activated oxygen on the chlorophyll molecule. The quantity of light also influences the rate of thinness. Maximum for thinness occur in the blue, violet and red region of light spectrum. Kwayo Apukamovuna Zokaona for the thinness in a tokea koingi kama Mwanga yetu kawa ni blue violet Na kwenye red region ya spectrum Lakini minimum for thinness okai ni green light Kwa sabu gani? Clothe is nye ni green Kwa kama clothe ni green Green light itakuwa Hai always kuwa absorbed Green light kwenye clothe Clothe is inakuwa zina Zina reflect So ultraviolet rays are harmful Plant growing under Canopy of trees Receive only little red and blue violet light because of its absorption by foliage of canopy. Kwa mimea mbao inakuwa chini ya kivulicha ya mimea miti, inakuwa napata kidogo sana blue violet na ere red. Kwa sabu gani kwa sabu hile miti, inakuwa na absorb, inabsorb ule muanga ote. Kwa hiyo kiulizo wa function ya cardinal, cardinal is in a idea ku, ku prevent for oxidative damage, lakini pia cardinal is in a act kama antioxidant. As it is that the rate of fluorescence katika plant ya mozina is in a glow under the canopy of trees in a kwa very small. Kwa hiyo, hiyo ndiyo how light affects fluorescence. And let's see the effect of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide pia sometimes in heze kawa ni limiting factor. Carbon dioxide is needed in light in the plant reaction where it is used to make sugar. Carbon dioxide is one of the less abundant gases in the atmosphere. Despite occasional local fluctuation in the carbon dioxide concentration, there is remarkable consistency in its concentration throughout the atmosphere at any one time. This consistency is the result of fine balance between carbon dioxide taken up by green plants during fruitfulness and that released by all organisms during respiration. So there has been a slightly increase in carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere 
in recent times and this has been attributed to the burning of fossil fuel. Coal and oil represented stores of carbon dioxide resulting from the fossilization of organisms. Kwa hiyo bani jinsi unavyoongoza vitu unaongeza carbon dioxide kwenye atmosphere. Under normal condition carbon dioxide concentration is the major limiting factor of the sababu carbon dioxide inakuwa ni ndogo sana. Optimum concentration for sustained high rate of fruitfulness is 0.1 and this has led to some greenhouse crops such as tomatoes being grown in carbon dioxide enriched the atmosphere to provide greater yields. Kwa baadhi ya mimea kama nyanya unaweza kuzilima kwenye greenhouse na utapata mazao mengi kwa sababu gani kwenye greenhouse utakuwa na high concentration of carbon dioxide at the moment there is much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere more efficiently at the moment there is much interest in a group of plant which are capable of removing their of removing their available carbon dioxide from the atmosphere more efficient, efficient. a capable of absorbing this is not removing absorbing a capable of absorbing the available carbon dioxide from atmosphere more efficient hence achieving greater yields these are called c4 plants kama ambavyo tume discuss hapo kabla kwa hiyo c3 and c4 plant define their fitness response to the available carbon dioxide concentration in c3 plant the rate of fitness increases with increase in, in carbon dioxide concentration when other factors are not limiting this increase in rate of fruitfulness in C3 plant is primarily due to two factor. First, the availability of substrate in high concentration of fruitfulness. And second, the reduced fruitfulness due to more availability of carbon dioxide to rubisco. So sometimes they can ask you that how the increase in the carbon dioxide concentration affect the C4 and C3 fruitfulness or how does the increase in, in carbon dioxide concentration affect different the fruitfulness in C3 and in C4 plants so as you can see in this explanation in C4 plants fruitfulness increase as concentration increases however C4 plants attain saturation at a much lower carbon dioxide concentration which is 206 while the C3 is 500. Thus, the current availability of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is the limiting factor for C3 plants. If the atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration increases, the C3 plants are likely to be benefiting more than C4 plants. Scientists have demonstrated that C3 plants can grow faster and yield more due to higher rate of fruitfulness when the carbon dioxide concentration is raised to the pole. The primary effect of increasing the atmospheric carbon dioxide level on fruitfulness would be through an increase in intercellular carbon dioxide concentration by increasing the rate of diffusion of carbon dioxide into the leaf. So that's all about it. <coughs> carbon dioxide. And let's jump to the effect of temperature. Uh, Temperature in affect dark reaction in the photosynthesis. Hiyo ni kwa sababu dark reactions zinatumia enzyme. So temperature is also limiting factor under field condition, particularly on cool days. The influence of temperature on fruitfulness depend on both light intensity and availability of common oxygen. The photochemical reaction of light stage fruitfulness is unaffected by temperature, but the light independent reaction or Kelvin stage, Kelvin cycle is temperature dependent because it is enzyme controlled reaction and therefore temperature sensitive. Provided the light intensity and concentration of carbon dioxide are not limiting, the rate of fruitfulness is found to increase proportionally with increase in temperature. The minimum temperature at which fruitfulness can take place is zero centigrade. For most plants, although some arctic and alpine variety continue to fruitfulness below this level, the rate of fruitfulness at these plants is very low. The rate approximately double 
for every 10 centigrade raise up to an optimal temperature, which varies from species to species. Above the optimal temperature, the rate of increase is reduced until a point is reached above which there is no increase. The optimum for thinness rate for most plants is 25 degrees centigrade. Above this level, further temperature increase lead to leveling off and then a fall in the rate of thinness. Kwa hiyo, hapo kwenye temperature ni kwamba plant nyingi minimum temperature for thinness ni 0 degrees centigrade. But the plant is in the for the size at below that temperature. Lakini, from 0 centigrade, later for thinness in a kwena in a yizidisha in a double, in a two times, kwa kila increase in 10 degrees centigrade. Na optimum temperature for thinness kwa plant nyingi ni ishinatan. However, most plants wanaweza kaendea for thinness kwa rate kubwa, hata kufikia kwenye thera thina tano degree centigrade, 35 degree centigrade. So, all of those, they are factors affecting for thinness. Lakini, above 35, most of the plant, the graph start to tail off and even to fall. The fourth factor affecting for thinness is water. Water is the essential raw material for the thinness. But so many cells, so many cell processes are affected by the lack of water. So, nevertheless, by studying the yield, or amount of organic matter synthesized of water deficient plant, it can be shown that period of temporary wilting can lead to severe yield losses. Kwa hiyo, meo na vukona nyauka au unapata ukosefu wa maji, unakuwa uwezi kutengeneza chakula. Under feed condition, water may be a limiting factor for nothingness. Kwa kwenye mazingira ya kufanya kazi, water neze kawa limiting factor. Na sio tu mazingira ambayo kuna kwa kuna, kuna ukame Lakini pia hata wakati wa mchana Na hasa kwenye mazingira ya joto Kwa hiyo Maji hata kikosikana kidogo tu yaneza kasababisha Mea upoteze chakula kingi Neza kasababisha mea upoteze chakula kingi Na sababu ni complex One obvious factor is that the reduced availability of water Return the rate of thinness through the closure of stomata. Kwa mba maji anafu kwa na kusikana, meo na close stomata. Kwa close stomata, possible mechanism ni kuma carbon dioxide na shindo kuingia, carbon dioxide na shindo kuingia, photolespecia na heze katokea, our rate of thinness na heze katokea. So when the stomata are completely closed, for thinness may case, or may stop, or sometimes even if photolespecia may occur. In addition, the decrease in availability of water leads to dehydration of protoplasm, which ultimately affects the enzyme involved in the photothinus, because the enzyme they need some of the condition. Abscisic acid, a gross inhibitor, has also been shown to accumulate in water deficiency leaves of some species. So as you can see here, we have three ways in which the deficiency of water, or we have three mechanisms in which the deficiency of water can affect photothinus. The first mechanism is closure of stomata. Second mechanism is dehydration of protoplasm, which will affect enzyme. And the third mechanism is through the accumulation of abscisic acid, which is the glossy inhibitor. Uh, the fifth factor is pollution. Um, low levels of gases, such as sulfur dioxide and other gases, they have ability to inhibit the process of polythenes. Kwa hiyo kwenye pollution na chukisama ni kwamba pollutant zina affect polythenes. Kama avu unozo kwa wana panasimu kwamba suit can block stomata and do the transparency of leaves epidemics. Mosh asa mosh is one among the pollutants. But we have different types of pollutants. Lakini pia tuna effect ya inorganic ions. Inorganic ions inezi katumia katia kutengeneza chlorophyll. In absence of certain inorganic ions, such as iron, chlorophyll cannot be synthesized. Other ions, such as nitrogen and magnesium, are integral part of chlorophyll molecule, and their absence likewise presents the its formation. Kwa kama plant itakosa inorganic ions kama hizo, manake plant itashindo kutengeneza chlorophyll. Hence, at the end of the day, plant itashindo kuabsorb vizuri light. 
lakini pia other factor is specific inhibitor specific inhibitor and obvious way of killing the plant hivi ambavyo unaona dawa nyingi zinatumika kuua magugu wanakuwa wanaweka specific inhibitor ile inhibitor inaenda ku inhibit process of photosynthesis mmea unakosa chakula unakufa au njia nyingine huwa wanaweza kutumia plant growth factors such as auxins nazo ni weed killer kama ambavyo tutaenda kusoma kwenye plant coordination lakini kwa sasa understand this mechanism so various herbicides have been introduced to this to do this the notable example is DCMU which is diclofenyl dimethyl urea diclofenyl dimethyl urea so which should circuit the cyclic electron flow so diclofenyl dimethyl urea it affect the cyclic photophosphorylation in the crop and thus inhibit light dependent reaction diclofenyl dimethyl urea has been used in research on light dependent reaction so in this lecture let, let us end here and in the next lecture we shall see on the internal factors that are affecting for the thinness and we will end up with the with the concept of saturation point thank you everybody subscribe the channel click the link below to join my telegram group for discussion and don't forget to share this in different platforms and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you everybody